Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a get ready with me while I'm talking about my COVID experience. Back in November, I had COVID and I got really, really sick. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm not going to film getting ready with my face like my base because then we'll be here forever and I can talk forever. So I'm like, let me do my face off camera and then I will get to the eye part so you guys can get ready with me there because we are going to do like a Valentine's Day theme look just because it's February 1st I'm feeling love in the air and I'm just kidding <laughs> I wanted to do a few looks for V-Day this year because every time I think I'm gonna do something and then I don't I think once I did like one look and that was it so anyways I will see you guys in a little bit with my face on okay guys so I'm back I'm just gonna go ahead and start I'm not really gonna be explaining the look we'll just see what I come up with but my theme is more like Valentine Day ish inspired so yeah, so anyways guys, I got COVID back in November, and I'm just going to say it was one of the worst things I have, if not the worst thing I have ever gone through. I really, it was freaking rough. I wouldn't want anybody to go through that, um, but unfortunately, in estos tiempos, so many people have gone through it. I myself have lost three family members because of it, and... Um, had multiple other family members um, been sick with it and gone to the hospital luckily that they have come out but um, it is a very hard thing to go through but honestly like if you're one of those people that thought like oh no um, it's not really real or whatever I was one of those people and unfortunately I learned the hard way that this shit is real I think throughout this video I might be including some clips because I did vlog. I don't remember if I actually uplo uploaded them to a vlog, but I have some videos that I might not have shared. The first symptom that I noticed, first of all, was um, on a Tuesday night when I was going to bed, I noticed that my body was hurting. I had body aches and I was like, that's weird. Um, like to the touch, I would it would hurt. Um, not super bad, but that was one of the w weird signs. So then the next day, Wednesday, is when like my symptoms really started. Um, I noticed that I had, and I have notes here just in case I forget. So Wednesday, I just felt tired. Um, I had a headache. So I spent most of the day lounging around, um, not doing much. And for me, I'm usually a very active person. I'm doing que hacer or, you know, whatever it is that I'm doing, like running around. I remember that day. I literally was just like, what is wrong with me? I, I just wanted to be sitting on the couch. Um, so I just felt tired and had headaches and kind of just um, was lounging around because my headache wasn't going away. At that point, I didn't think much of it, to be honest. I was just like, oh, you know, um, I don't know. I just thought like just getting a little sick like maybe a cold or something and I didn't even have like a cough I was just very congested and had a runny nose okay but this was already by like the runny nose and the congestion started like the next day like Thursday and I also continued to have headaches so that's when I was like, getting a little suspicious you know um, and I did have an aunt that was already sick so then I was like uh oh maybe she gave me COVID. No, I'm just kidding. Well, it could have been. We don't know where I got it, okay? But the point is that she was sick and she was kind of explaining her symptoms, but she was in real pain. So I was like, no, I don't feel like that. Like, I'm mine's just like minor, okay? So I was like, nah, I don't think it's COVID, right? I didn't even think of getting tested at that point, right? So then moving on to, because of the beginning is like, the beginning for me was like minor like I was telling my aunt yeah I don't feel what you feel like I have just minor she was telling me that her skin was like it just hurt her like hurt her so bad so like yeah minor body aches are like body aches but not like that bad so I was like okay you know I didn't think much of it why does this one look darker than the other one by day three on Friday I felt so much better um but then like I would go and do something and then, like, a few hours later, I would be beat. So, I would say I felt better on and off. And my body aches were here and there. Like, they weren't as strong as, like, the first two days. Uh, so, they, I, you know, felt better. And then Saturday morning, I wake up and I feel great. I'm, like, in a great mood, you know. Everything's going dandy. Um, 
everything. And then that's when I really started thinking, what if I have COVID? But you know what set it off? My taste. My taste and smell were gone. So I'm like, that's odd. And then that's when I was like, okay, no, I have to get tested because, you know, I, I, I need to know. I can't be around people if, if I have it. So we went to get tested. And by this point, I was like, okay, it's a good idea to quarantine because I had the most symptoms. My husband did not have barely any. He didn't have any symptoms at all, actually. So then I, that's when I started to quarantine. But I felt pretty good on Saturday. By Sunday, I did get a fever. And I'm sorry, I keep looking down, guys, and I'm getting distracted. I don't think I can do this all at once. Day five, I got my first fever, and it wasn't too bad, like it wasn't too high, but it, you know, it was uncomfortable to sleep because I was like, you know, waking up and on and off and tossing and turning and sweating and stuff. So then Monday I wake up with more energy, you know, and I'm like, you know, I need a breath of fresh air. Like I took my dog for a walk and my walk was good. You know, I noticed that I would get tired, like out of breath a little bit. I got another fever on Tuesday. So Tuesday was day seven. And I, again, just kept feeling weak. My health was declining at this point. Okay. I was just getting worse. And my aunt had told me that she had gotten worse gradually. So I was like, uh oh. So I still didn't have results. My results took like seven days to get back. It took quite a while, but by this time, I actually ended up going to the doctor on like day 9 or 10. Um, yeah, like day 9. Um, I ended up going to the doctor because I noticed my oxygen level was declining. And my cousin came to the rescue because she had uh, one of those finger things for the oxygen. And she let me use it. Um, but when I went to the doctor, my oxygen was low. I think it was at 90. It's originally supposed to be like at a 98 or something like that. Um, so mine was, it had gone down. I, you don't feel like you're like, <sighs> like out of breath like that. It just, like, I just noticed that I kept trying to take deeper breaths and stuff like that. So when I went to the doctor and that was confirmed, obviously I was anxious. I was nervous. I was, I had a lot of thoughts in my mind going on. And luckily though, the doctor made me feel better because they did prescribe me anxiety meds, which really helped me go to sleep because I was struggling because you're quarantined all by yourself and you're like worried that, um, you know, what if I don't wake up and things like that. Those are like the thoughts that your mental health really goes through it when you have COVID. Well, it, I went through it because I think I was physically sick. I was weak. Um, so all these thoughts, you know, start, started going through my mind and... I'm sorry guys, I had to take a break and just tell you guys because I am like, I cannot concentrate while I'm trying to do my eyeshadow and trying to read you these notes because I don't want to forget anything. But, um, so I went to the doctor and yeah, he gave me steroids, anxiety medication, and a cough syrup to help because by this time I did start picking up a cough and the cough started like a normal little <coughs> cough, you know, nothing, nothing big or anything like that. Um, but I was struggling mentally, okay? Uh... I was quarantined in my room by myself. A lot of the time I did spend reflecting um, on my life and, you know, I would have those thoughts of like, oh, sorry guys, I'm, I'm slouching. Is that better? I would spend thinking like, oh, I didn't get to do this or what if I'm not there for when my daughter walks down the aisle? Like, those are horrible thoughts when you're like a parent and you're thinking like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna miss all these moments. But it was the truth that those are things that I went through. And that's why, like now I'm so grateful that I, that I pulled out of it, you know, because unfortunately so many people don't have that luck. Uh, but anyways, back to my symptoms and stuff. Let me actually rewind a little bit because um, I feel like my whole purpose was to come on here and tell you guys kind of what I did during that time to kind of recover also. And I do get questions of like the tea that I drink. Um, the tea, I during this time, there was a tea going around that's really good for you and it helps you fight it off, right? So I would drink so many teas. And let me tell you, the tea that I'm about to tell you that I was drinking... It was easy for me to drink it because I had no taste buds and no smell. The tea was disgusting. Um, I learned that towards the end when I started getting my taste and smell back. I can smell and it was harder for me to drink it. But it was this tea and I'm going to post either the ingredients down in the description box. Um, 
Juan would make it for me, so I honestly to remember what I even was in it is hard, but I'll type everything down below. I know I had ginger, oranges, um, the ginger for me is what did it, like that's a really strong flavor. Uh, he would put limon in there. Oh, and this was I think what really made it gross for me. Um, he would put aspirins, but not your normal aspirins that you get at CVS or whatever. Like we went to the Mexican store. Um, and got aspirinas and I don't know if it's like a culture thing or a Hispanic thing aspirinas to us are like stronger more potent and uh, my husband went to like a Hispanic little girl no actually I think my cuñado went to go buy them for him and he dropped them off um, because then my husband did start getting some symptoms hers his were more mild so he was making these teas for me and I would drink them like all day all day and then I was just eating very light, like sopas. I would eat a lot of sopa maruchan. My mom eventually would send me food, like he, she made me some chicken broth one, albondiga. Like, you know, I was eating other food. But I had no taste and smell, so it wasn't even, like, enjoyable for me to eat this stuff. Um, but, yeah, honestly, I was just taking it easy. That's, I think, key when you have COVID. Try, like, not doing too much, please. Like, you need to relax your body because... Like I said, some of the days early on, like day four, five, six, I was feeling de repente like, oh, like I'm good. I'm getting better. And then like I would go downstairs at the beginning, right? Because I didn't know like because I didn't think it was COVID at the beginning. Um, I would like clean the kitchen and then all of a sudden I'd be wiped out like so tired. And that's a pattern that now I realize, dang. I was like working myself too much. So anyways, by the time I was quarantined, I couldn't do much. I was just in my room. Um, so I was that tea was key. And then when I got my prescription from the doctors, I took everything to the tea like he told me to. The anxiety meds, I would definitely try to take them more like at nighttime to go to sleep because that's where I was struggling. Like I was too scared. I would tell Juan, check on me, make sure I'm like still breathing, which is hard because then, you know, you don't want to contaminate but then it's like you're scared for your life like I thought I was dying so um and I'm smiling about it now but it's it's definitely I will post a picture here and it's gonna be embarrassing but I literally took a picture of myself because I told myself if I make this out through if I make I make it out of it of this and this was something I would t keep to myself when I would talk to my family my husband my kids I was like no I'm gonna get through this like and I tried you try to stay positive but when you're in that physical state where you're weak you can't get out of bed and all that your just mind is like in front of people you're strong but then to yourself you're like having all these thoughts right um so I took this picture of myself to remind me that when I complain about the stupid little things like little things that you know we get mad about and at the moment you don't realize how dumb these things are that you're arguing with your other with your loved one about or you yell at your kids for or whatever like at that point I didn't care I just wanted to be healthy. So. I'm going to continue my story. I left off where I got prescribed all the medications. So let me do a little more of this look because obviously I can't uh, multitask and then I will be back to continue the story. Okay, ya regresé. Que vergüenza que no me puede maquillar hablando. Pero saben que? I think the mistake that I made is that because I took notes, I feel like I'm... <clears throat> like I know what I want to talk about that I'm kind of struggling to like make sure I'm on track and trying to do like since I didn't plan the look or I'm not like I was kind of free handing it I think I was like thinking too much into it but I wanted to show you guys the blush that I'm using I'm using this Too Faced heart blush it's uh, called it's a Too Faced love a flush long lasting 16 hour blush it's called baby love I got this a while ago like years ago um, but I hardly ever use them so I thought it was perfect Valentine's Day look and to use a little heart shaped blush that's cute. But I'm pretty much done with my makeup. <clears throat> so then I just kind of wanted to... I'm going to start doing my hair and I'm going to finish talking about <clears throat> the COVID experience. So I left off when I went to the doctor. Uh, they made me feel so much better because I finally had something... More than anything, I feel like... <clears throat> I realized I was out of breath and my oxygen was going down. And the anxiety really helped me because I was struggling. As the days went on... Um, my cough got worse. I said I did have like a little bit of a dry cough and yeah sure enough my cough got worse 
and the more I was active, the worse the cough would get. So, <clears throat> say I would get up and go to the bathroom, my cough was freaking horrible. Like, yo iba al baño, and yo sabía que iba a ser un ataque de tos. Like, not lying, that is the truth. And I hated going to the bathroom because I knew what was about to happen. And then, <clears throat> to top it off, I would have accidents because with coughing so much and I couldn't stop that I would accidentally leak. You know what I mean? And I thought that was weird, but honestly, <clears throat> now um, I feel like it's... I've heard of more stories of people with COVID that have experienced the same thing. And... It's normal, you know, I think just the cough gets you so bad that you like don't know what, like you can't make it. It just starts coming out because of the pressure of you coughing. But <clears throat> that's what happened. So I just ended up really being, having to be on bed rest. Like I couldn't do much because the more movement I had, the worse I would get. Um, my oxygen <laughs> did decline and the way I found this out was... Um, I had gone to the doctor like Thursday or Friday and then I went on a Monday. Monday my husband had an appointment. Juan had an appointment but I said you know what I'm gonna go because I just want to make sure um, <clears throat> that I'm okay. Like I just I don't know I think it was like people saying oh you get pneumonia and I was getting scared. So I ended up going. Thank goodness I went because let me tell you my oxygen had dropped when I got to the doctor's office they were like um you're probably gonna have to go to the hospital and I was like what wait what so I was like kind of in shock but then the doctor came in and he was like oh my gosh you already got prescribed the you know the meds so what's going on um yeah he's like you might have to go to the to the to the hospital because at this point my oxygen had dropped to it was like at 85 and he's like mm. he was staring at me then he would look down his stuff and then look at me again and I was like oh my gosh like if he doesn't have faith that I'm gonna make it like you know like I was that's when I like my anxiety went up a notch like a big notch so <clears throat> He ended up saying, you know, you're going to go home. I'm going to prescribe some more stuff. He ended up doing a second round of steroids. Um, and he did that and he said, go home. If for the next hour or two, your oxygen drops below the rate that it's at right now, I want you to go to the ER. So I'm like, okay. Um, so then I went home, you know, and I just really took it easy. Kept drinking teas. I also ended up putting a humidifier in my room because I felt like in my room it felt very dry and because I had a dry cough I just felt like this esperada like I needed moisture so I ended up putting a uh, humidifier which really helped me <clears throat> and just really being on top of my bed my meds honestly and being aware and checking my oxygen um, thank god I was nervous of going to the doctor because I was scared of lo que me hubieran dicho but honestly if you guys know anybody that's going through it Por favor, animenlos to take that first step to go in and get checked out because you just never know. You know what I mean? Like, if <clears throat> I wouldn't have gone the first time, I wouldn't have known the oxygen level was dropping. And thank goodness that I ended up getting one of those little finger things to check my oxygen at home. And shout out to my cousin. Thank you, Stephanie. I still have to give it back, actually. Um, <clears throat> that she let me use it because that kept my mind more at ease. Um... So, that was like my worst, I'm going to be honest. My worst. Like, not knowing if my oxygen was going to go back up. I know Juan, my husband, he ended up breaking down to my mom. Like, he was having a hard time. Like, thinking like, what if she doesn't get better? And <clears throat> during this time, I really just... Late in bed, like, I didn't even want... I had a whole list of you guys send me uh, movies to watch while I was, like, you know, quarantining. Didn't watch... I didn't want to watch anything. I didn't want to watch... 
I didn't want to even be on my computer. I didn't want to be on YouTube. I didn't want to be on social media. Like the light of it all would hurt my eyes. Me cansaba mucho. Um, so I would just lay in my bed and just, just kind of think. Like my life would run through my mind, honestly. Like of all my memories and stuff like that. Um, so I did a lot of praying. I did a lot of reflecting. I was very grateful for the everything I had, I was blessed with in life. Like I just was going through it emotionally, like mentally. Sorry guys, my camera ran out of memory and I had to um, just finish my hair because ya va a ser hora de recoger a Lorenzo. Más bien ya es hora, la verdad. Am I focusing? Um, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on my hair, which by the way, I'm going to interrupt the video real quick. Um, this is the tool that I use for my hair. I got this if you're from where I'm from around town because I know a lot of you are. Local, um, these are from, this is from Sam's Beauty Warehouse. This was so inexpensive. It is, I believe, a one inch three barrel waver. I think it was only like 20 bucks at the most. I don't remember. Yeah, yes, a tiempo. But it's mi segunda because my dog chewed it on the cord. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, I think I posted it there. And he destroyed the first one, so I went and bought a second one because it was the best deal. Um, but I'm done with my hair. So basically, to finish off the video, so I was at my worst. Uh, luckily, I already had the medicines prescribed. But even after that, guys, I was at my worst. And I'm going to post a picture so you guys can see. Um, luckily, when he prescribed a second round of steroids and all that, from there, my oxygen level never went back down. It started gradually going up, but it took days. So it wasn't just a one, two, three, I'm back to normal after this meds. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say, guys, COVID for me was a very rough moment in my life. Um, I honestly did not think it was going to be that way. Um, it made me think thoughts that I have never thought before. Going through COVID for me was a big growth moment, I think, in my life. It was, like I said, one of the worst things. And I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. I kind of just wanted to go over how my experience was because I want you guys to know that I was one of those persons at the beginning that thought maybe COVID was not real. I really wasn't taking it, like I was being cautious, obviously, but, oh, I didn't even put my lipstick. Maybe that's what I should do while I'm talking to you guys. Um. Oh, I don't even have a lip. You know what? I'm going to film another video, so I'm just going to put on my lip there because I'm trying to rush it. I'm, I should be leaving to get loaded some right now. But um, until it hit close to home, that's when I was like, break, this is real. And then I got sick, and like I said, while I was sick, I had two other tias that were really sick. Um, one of them went to the hospital and lasted there like a week or two. Uh, and recently, my uncle actually was in the hospital, and then my sister actually is currently in the hospital with COVID. Luckily, she is way better, thank goodness, but she really gave us a scare. Um, so I don't know what it is. The doctor I saw recently was like, what do you guys have in your genes that you guys get it like really rough? Um, so I honestly don't know. Everybody's experience is different, but mine really woke me up in certain aspects of my life. Like... I need to just live my life every single moment because you're not guaranteed tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wrap up this video. I feel like this was so, it's kind of a fail. I couldn't even get ready on camera, guys. Um, this is the final look. Let me uh, zoom it in so you guys can see. Um, I'm not, the lash, uh, honestly, I don't know if I'm like loving it. It's kind of a simple Valentine's Day look, but... You know, a little look, you know, for you. Um, I didn't put my lipstick on color, so maybe I should be like, ah. <laughs> but yeah, this is a look. I did a little bit of the same shimmer that I put on the top on the bottom here, and that is it. I paired it up with some nice little pink earrings, which are my mama's. She let me borrow the other day, and I just didn't give them back, but I gotta give them back to her. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. <laughs> should I zoom it out a little bit? Yeah. Um, but that was my experience. Just take it seriously, guys. Um, be careful. Really, if you guys are feeling weak, just know that at the beginning, like, it gets worse towards the end. And the doctor confirmed that, confirmed that for me. He said, the worst days are always the last days. Like, from day 10 to day 14, the worst. Um, I never in my life had really thought, like, oh, shit, this is it. I think I'm going to die. And that experience to me, that's what it did. My camera ran out of memory again, and I had to like readjust. So let me I just really, that time brought me some good reflection moments, and I feel like there was a lot of growth. Um, 
internally, you know. So, yeah, that was my experience, guys. Just took a lot of teas, took a lot of time to relax and take it easy. Took my meds like I was supposed to. Very important that if you get it, don't be scared of going to the doctor, please. I am so thankful that I went. I know so a lot of people that really were so scared to go to the doctor or go to a hospital. And obviously now having so many family members go through it, a lot of them which did go to the hospital, um, I feel like don't be scared, you know, like first I would start at the doctor if you're sick, you know, and make sure you check in with your doctor, see what he can do for you. And then if it needs to be, go in, you know, and just really pray and just try, give it your all. Be strong. You're going to get through it. Like have positive thoughts. I think that's that helped me, even though there were some moments that I really was like, am I going to make it, you know, but you really have to be strong and like try to persevere through this horrible disease or enfermedad you know so that's pretty much my journey um like I said I took my meds I took my teas I was just really easy and just trying not, not to do much I quarantined myself you know and then after all it was over disinfected and everything and now we're here guys so that's it for this video I don't know you know it's kind of a sad one but I want this to go away so bad and honestly, I was terrified about the vaccine as well. Like, do I get it? Do I not get it? Now they say like, if you have COVID once and you get it again, it's even worse. So now I'm just like, I think I'm gonna get it. Like, I'm just so scared. I'm more scared of COVID now that I've had it than before. Uh, let me know what other kind of videos you guys wanna see. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so you don't miss a, blah, 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 so you don't miss a video. And by the way, to end this video, because originally I was doing a get ready with me while I was trying to tell the story and that kind of went down the drain because I could not multitask. So I'm going to share with you what I used because somebody had asked me what I do, what I use to get my hair like this. I used a one inch three barrel waver that I got super cheap at Sam's Beauty Warehouse. If you're in Chicago, you know what that is. But super cheap is like less under $20. And then I use the Jamon Charles palette with Morphe for my eyes. And I'm going to show you guys the shades that I use. So I used this pink one, and then I did use a little bit of this one, and then for to start and blend everything, give me like a little bit of definition, I used this one. And then for the shimmer, I used, I used to be at MUA, so I have like my little stack, and I used this color here, shimmer, to in the center. For my lips, I'm using this um, Melted Too Faced in Melted peony peony this with like a nude lip liner and that's it okay guys that's all for my covid experience i hope that um you guys realize that this is a serious thing and not just because maybe a ti no te dio tan fuerte you know doesn't mean that that's going to be the same for the other person so just really be respectful um i know i have friends that are like Oh, it's not a big deal. But I'm just like, girl, I almost died. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.